Hello, I'm Brian Gilbert from Beecher's Handmade Cheese and Gilbert's Cheese Experience. I'm so grateful, Michael. Thank you for having us and all the other cheese peeps on the line. Um, I have an awesome cocktail. I think it's awesome that I'm going to pair today. It is called Starry Night Bourbon Delight. And I'm pairing it with Yule Quesa. It's Beecher's Handmade Cheese's Holiday Cheese. It's, um, I'll talk about it for a second here. It's, so we have Flagship Reserve which is a cross between a cheddar and a gruyere, open air aged cheese. This cheese is very similar. It's the same cheese. The only difference is we marinate the outside with a honey wine wash. It's about 50, 50% honey and wine. It's changed a little over the years. I'm biased, but this year it is my favorite. Um, so you're gonna get the nice crumbly texture that you get from Flagship Reserve sweetness all the way through, but it's going to be even sweeter on the rind. So what we do is we age it for about uh, 13 months or so. And throughout the time when it's being aged, we roll, basically it's in a, in a, in a plastic bag and it has the wine wash at the bottom and we roll it every so often throughout its life, throughout the 13 months. And what, what it does is uh, the wine wash, the honey wine wash permeates the loaf or the, the truckle all the way through. So it's a really nice sweet cheese for the holidays. And then I created a drink called Starry Night Bourbon Delight. I'm gonna put it together for you right now. But to call out a few things, uh, I'm here in Seattle, Washington. So Capitol Hill is one of, the, one of the areas in Seattle and I have Ula bourbon. I'm gonna use a little Italian perigote. Some bitter housewife orange bitters with a touch of cardamom in it. Some club soda. And I'm going to call out a little bit of the Rachel's Ginger Brew. And this is one of their spiced honey crisps. It's really good. It's super good. So a little bit of that's going to go in it. We're going to use, um, let's see if I can bring this out here. This is just a sugar cardamom mix that I'm going to sugar. They've already sugared the rim here. And I just use a little bit of the orange around the outer edge. And then I have some cranberries and the cranberries are also dusted. Really, they're already a little bit wet from the condensation from the cranberries themselves, but I really just roll them in the blood orange juice and then dust them. And of course, the blood orange that's also going to be in it as well. And we're going to garnish it with a little bit of an orange peel that I've used, just an orange peeler. I'm sorry, a potato peeler usually just to get that orange peel off. And a star anise. Star anise won't give it lots of flavor per se, but it'll, uh, you'll get a hint of it when you drink your drink. So I'm going to get started and I know we have uh, four of us on here, so I'm going to start my cocktail um, and let's talk as I do this and then I'll start making the drink. I did say five ice cubes. I have smaller cubes, so I'm going to go with, I have tongs here, but this just seems easier because it's just me. But I'm going to fill up my mixer, or my shaker, about a quarter of the way, maybe a third at best. We don't want it to get too watery. And then I'm going to add my, what do we have first? My bourbon, Ula bourbon. Put that in there and there's two ounces of that. Touch of Amaro. It's actually more than a touch, it's about an mm, ounce. Yeah. I have my blood orange already squeezed. These are really just props at this point because it's a a visual, show you what, all the things we need. And I like having some of the pulp in there as well, but I've made sure of course to keep the seeds out because the idea, at least in my, my sense of what it was gonna be a starry night, had a little twinkle with the pulp in there. So that is gonna go into, gonna make this easy to make drink. Then I have my Rachel's ginger brew. I'm gonna put that right in there. We have six, it depends on, Depends on how much your bitters come out of your pour, but typically two, three, four, five, uh, a few more came out, so I'm gonna stop at five, but about six bits of bitter. And we'll do just a splash of soda. Get a little sweetness, add a little bubble. Then take your shaker and shake away. So, what's up, CC? All right. There we go. 
Now I've already dusted the rim with the cardamom sugar rim and dusted the cranberries. Very simply, you're gonna pour it right over and I like to get it almost to the rim. So gorgeous. All right, so we got that. Take your orange peel, gonna roll it up a little bit. Get some of the essence out of there. Make it look pretty like. Take my star anise and set it on top. Voila, ha <laughs> ha. All right, so the only way to really know is to try it, right? So let's see. It's one o'clock here in Seattle, folks. So I'm gonna have my, my cocktail, so proud, and my cheese. I'm a dork. Did I ever say that? Say that like in <laughs> But I'm gonna enjoy it. You get to watch me drink a cocktail. Oh, it's just bitter enough and just sweet enough. And at first I was a little hesitant to put the sugar rim on the outside. Um, I like sugar, but it seemed like it was gonna be too much. But I figured with the pairing with the, the Yule case that it might work out. So uh, another concern I had in, initially was that it might be too sweet, but it worked. It's like a, you put them together and hope it works and report back. So as in any tasting, and I'm sure all the other mongers will go through it too, but I'll lead. I take a bite, I'm gonna hold my cheese up a little bit high because aroma falls. I'm talking and eating cheese. I'm gonna cover the cheese on all the parts of my mouth, the roof, my tongue, sides of my cheeks. And we take, I have to do it again. We take a sip. I'm gonna swallow and then breathe out and see what I get. It pairs so well. I know you can't try it right now, but it pairs so well. I get um, nice, nutty notes from the cheese as we almost always get from this style of cheese. And there's a little bit, excuse me, of, um, I really noticed the bitters in it and it puts everything in balance. What I noticed too is as I was drinking, I can also get a hint or a, a little bit of aroma from the star anise. And then um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but having the cranberries are just a little bit tart and dusted with the sugar really adds something to it. One final thing, I, I made the drink when I was preparing it um, initially, and I forgot the orange peel. That definitely matters. It really balances out the drink quite a bit. So yeah, that's what I have. Beecher's Handmade Cheese Yule Quesa, Yule for the Holidays Quesa Cheese, um, and Starry Night Bourbon Delight featuring Ula Bourbon from Capitol Hill here in Seattle, Washington. So ta-da! Awesome. That was magnificent, Brian. Thank you so much. And uh, that, that is a magnificent name of cheese and cocktail. Everybody, thank you so much for coming in and playing and mixing yeah. and, and bringing your cheeses. Cheers. 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 <laughs> mm. So you're going to be able to find these recipes and, of course, the others that are coming up on michaellandischeese.com. Uh, there's a whole section that says recipes, and then it says cocktails, and each one is listed out with all the information that they have provided for me. And, of course, this will be on my YouTube channel, Michael Landis Cheese, and it'll be broken out so everybody will be able to mix for the holidays and have a little bit of fun with that. So, everybody... Thank you so much. This was so much fun. I love all the recipes and I can't wait to start making them on my own.